there guys, what's happening and welcome back to the channel. My name is Titch and you're watching Titch Vision. And today, I'm going to be reacting to the trailer of Black Panther. Okay, so the original Black Panther film was pretty awesome. T'Challa was definitely a hero I could get behind. Killmonger was probably one of the best MCU villains. Well, he had to be. Most of the other ones were crap. And it had a really good supporting cast as well. I saw the teaser trailer recently and it did look pretty damn cool. We didn't get much story from it. But it was sort of reacting to the loss of Chadwick Bosman, And it is a real damn shame. But I want to talk about that a little bit more later. But for now, let's not waste any more time and let's check out this trailer. And see if we can get anything else from this film. Oh boy. broken people oh it's quite sad really it is really awful what happened okay what's going on his people Whoa. call him general they called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God. Okay. We'll risk eternal war. He's coming. Who's coming? Who's coming? Whoa, whoa, boom, boom, boom. Woo! <laughs> we know what you whisper. What? So who's gonna step up and take control, man? Wow. That... What? Show them who we are. Yes. Oh, so we definitely have a new Black Panther. Sweet. All right. All right, that seems pretty cool, yeah. Okay, so Wakanda is mourning the loss of T'Challa and they don't have long to grieve because there's a new threat arising in the form of Kal Khan, otherwise known as Namor, who's sort of the Marvel equivalent of whoever the bad guy is in Aquaman. So I'm guessing him and his army are now trying to take over Wakanda now that their protector is gone. I'm guessing that's where they're basing most of the action. And we get our first glimpse of Ironheart. Who? Who I'm guessing is a former student of Tony Stark and now she wants to take up that mantle of Iron Man. And I think she's gonna have a really massive part in this before she gets her own film. But the big question for me is, who is Black Panther now? I'm guessing it's Shuri, because it shouldn't be anyone else, let's be honest. It makes sense, because she is the younger sister of T'Challa. And who else knows the technology better than her? And in the first film, she was a lot of fun. She was probably one of the most interesting characters in the film. So if anyone was to be Black Panther now, it would definitely be her. Okay, so let's face it. I think Marvel slash Disney were in a bit of a tight spot. Either to pass on the character of Black Panther to someone else, or just to let it go. Either way, you're going to get backlash from some fans. For me, either one is not a bad decision, and I'm quite pleased they decided to go ahead with another Black Panther film. But yeah, I think this could be another good one. It's coming out in November, and I'm definitely going to check it out. It could be a lot of fun. Then again, that's what I said about Thor Love and Thunder, and look how that turned out. So those are my reactions and thoughts to the trailer of Black Panther. What do you guys think? Are you going to check this film out? Where do you stand on the Black Panther argument? And is there really any hope for Ironheart? No! Comment down below and let me in the know. And that's about everything for today, my friends. And thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, make sure you like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I've been Titch. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.